Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Teresa and I like to do cleaning, tidying, decluttering, and videos that help you get organized in your home. But in today's video, we are going to pull out all of my Halloween stuff and we are going to get this house decorated and ready. Halloween is absolutely my most favorite time of year. I've actually decluttered quite a bit of my Halloween decor from last year, but of course I still had five giant boxes to go through. So you will watch Caitlin and I get through all of this, decorate it to the best of our abilities. And at the very end, I will go ahead and give you a wonderful reveal. And if I can remember how much everything costs and where it all came from, I will include that as well. So in the meantime, sit back, get some cider, get some spooky music on and enjoy this Halloween decor video. So believe it or not, I have actually taken this down from nine gigantic bins to five in the past year. So even I have worked on decluttering things for my absolute favorite holiday. But right now, Caitlin and I are just going to remove everything from the bins, sort of get them placed, and then we will start decorating. So here's this. And I don't know if you can see them behind the stair rail, but my husband and my son are out there watching baseball. So yeah, they are not participating at all. But yeah, the kid's home from college just for the day. So that's probably as much as you're gonna see him in the video. <laughs> oh, isn't this adorable? Caitlin and Blue are dancing. So these are my favorite. I absolutely love them. I usually take down regular pictures and then hang these up. They're the kind where when you move in the room, they look like they're following you. They just crack me up. I think I got those at like Walmart.
So here I realized that I threw out my table runner from last year because I guess it got ratty or something. So right now I don't have a table runner. Eventually I will go get one for my dining room table scape. And just a little trick right here. We had some old candy corn. We're gonna go out and buy some fresh candy corn. So we're just using this as filler around our votive candle holder. So it looks really cute and festive. And now once again, we are back to me trying to decorate a tear tray. So this one's gonna take a minute. I think I got a little bit better from the first time with fall. Tried not to be too crazy about it, but still these things, until you know how you wanna decorate them, they can be a challenge. Sometimes things don't fit in them, but I made it as cute as I could. So Caitlin has gotten in on the Limax action. She's really into like dogs and this little haunted thing that she's got that she's decorating on her own is a little, I guess, dog boutique, boutique. So she's getting that set up. How cute is that? So Caitlin has recently gotten into really being into these Limax things that we get from Michael's and so she wanted to join in. We've had a couple from the past few years, but she wanted to get this little doggy one. She's really into pets and animals, especially dogs. So she got that. This one is the blood of the vine. It's like supposed to be a vineyard type thing. And then this other one over here is a little cemetery. So that is our little Limax collection for now.
So now we're just doing a quick sweep again of the front and we'll move a few things around. Yes, I know I need a good pressure washing, but I guess the best part of having a not totally clean porch is that it matches the Halloween decor. Oh, and yeah, that jumping spider does not work anymore, but a couple years ago when it did, it scared the crap out of one of my friends, which apparently you could hear her scream throughout the neighborhood. <laughs> but it doesn't have batteries that work. I, I think it's just broken anyway, but it's fine. It's cute. We're keeping them. And if you notice my dog Blue in her little pumpkin outfit, she wanted to come outside for a second. So Caitlin's just holding her while we add our ghost to our porch. So these are my little headstones and I usually have a gate that goes around them, but we are going to be getting our lawn aer aerated aerated so we're gonna put that gate up later we also have a big blow up that we're going to put up later so i will have that in a future video So I will say that every year I get these little peel and sticks from Target. Usually I get the ones that have like lots of bats on them. But the thing I like about this one is that you could just pull the whole entire word off. You didn't have to go letter by letter. And I think they're really cute. And here is my reveal. So a lot of my headstones came from either at home or Garden Ridge when it was that. Uh, and then there are my cute little skeletons. They too came from at home. And I will move up a little bit closer. Say hey, Mr. Bones. Mrs. Bones. <laughs> and this little doggy skeleton came from our local grocery store, Harris Teeter. That little pumpkin, he needs to be updated, but I think he also came from Garden Ridge or at home now. The lanterns I've had, the um, little thing on the bench came from Dar Target Dollar Spot, and that also came from Target, the sign and the words, the peel and stick. My jumping spider came from Spirit Halloween. That right there also came from Target Dollar Spot. And then up here, my boo to you came from Hobby Lobby. And I think that wreath also came from at home. My ghosts I got a million years ago and I cannot for the life of me remember where. And um, I wanna say that this little guy, he came from Target. No, yeah, maybe he did. I think he did come from Target. He lights up and screams and stuff. He's fun but annoying. And then my signs came from, I wanna say those came from Spirit Halloween many, many, many moons ago. My spooky came from at home. My flag, I think, also came from at home. My ghost, I really don't remember. Let's just go with at home or when it was Garden Ridge, because I'd say a majority of that stuff, even that sign that I hung up, I want to say a majority of my stuff comes from at home. This came from Kirkland's last year, my trick-or-treat sign. On the other side, it says out of candy. This came from, it was Garden Ridge at the time, at home now my sign. The trick-or-treat blocks came from a local store to Charlotte called Black Lion. My phone came from at home.
cute. I got that at Target. Okay, back to my dining room. Um, I would say a good majority of these uh, skulls and candelabras came from at home. Or actually, I think those little skulls, I think I got those at like TJ Maxx. That's where I got them. I got them at TJ Maxx, but the candelabras came from at home. I remember that. And these cute little chandeliers came from at home in their ornament section. That was many, many years ago. And then back with the at home slash garden ridge theme, that's where these candles came from. Black Lion, that local store in Charlotte, is where I got this little mouse guy from and also this black cat. And then the, the ornaments inside the bowl came from at home. The uh, bowl itself I've had, I actually inherited that. It's really pretty too, so I filled that up with different things. This thing, I don't know where it came from. Caitlin got it. I don't know where it came from though. My Ouija pillow came from Marshalls, TJ Maxx Marshalls. The owl and the pumpkin came from Black Lion and the Deddy Bear came from Spirit Halloween. This little pumpkin guy and he lights up on the inside. He came from, I want to say maybe like an at home, home goods kind of place. I can't remember. These owls came from Black Lion. The spell book came from at home when it was Garden Ridge, I want to say. Picture of me and my husband and our now deceased little puppy, Scarlet. Now on to our very important wine fridge. So these wine bottle uh, votive holders came from What's that? Oh, Yankee Candle. That's where they came from. Yankee Candle. And you put votives inside them. I just didn't have any in there. And then that little tiki guy or whatever, little voodoo guy, I've had him a million years. This came from Pier One. And I know that they are all closing now, so I don't know. But uh, the glittery ones that are hanging, those also came from Pier One. But the vintage kind of papery looking ornaments that are on there, those also came from that local store, Black Lion. But all the glittery stuff came from Pier One. I'm going to miss that store. And then over here at my little bar, I would say a good hunk of these all came from when it was Garden Ridge and it's now at home. So those were little light up signs. I just don't have them plugged in right now. They're really cute. So the majority of these pieces came from TJ Maxx Marshalls, the ones that are like heavier, the gray jack-o'-lantern, the things with the skulls. All of those came from, even my headless horseman up there on top, came from TJ Maxx Marshalls. Those two skeleton, or the skeleton and the vampire bottle cover came from Black Lion, which is a local store. And then the smaller pieces came from Target. Hi, Blue. And then these also came from Target, the dollar spot area. And this little ghost guy, he came from TJ Maxx. Love him. So now on to my coffee area. The little fox and the brew thing. Well, actually, let's go over here to the tear tray. So the cat came from Target Dollar Spot. The little um, potion bottles, Dollar Spot also. The mugs came from Dollar Tree. And then this little, oh, and back there, that pumpkin also came from Dollar Spot. But those little smaller figures came from at home. This coffee holder, I wrote brews on it with my pen, that came from Hobby Lobby. And then that picture I got from that local store, Look What You Made Me Brew, also came from a local store. And then those two guys came from Target Dollar Spot. And this guy also came from Target Dollar Spot as well as this tree. How cute are they? Oh, I love him. I'm going to put candy in him. So cute. And then over here, my little pumpkin came from at home. The home haunted home came from... I want to say at home and this cauldron came from Target Dollar Spot. And then over here my happy Halloween sign came from Target Dollar Spot. The Halloween block letters came from that local store called Black Lion. And I've had these, I think those also came from Black Lion, my little ornaments. I've had them a million years and as well as my little votive jack-o'-lanterns where I can't remember where they come from but best guess is they came from 
Garden Ridge, which is now at home. And then Mr. Bones over there came from Restoration Hardware. Then this little thing that lights up, how, how cute that came from Target. I paid 15 for that one, that I remember. And then the jack-o'-lantern came from at home when it was Garden Ridge. And then my little ghost came from, I wanna say Garden Ridge when it was Garden Ridge, now it's at home. And then the little signs came from Black Lion. This little figurine came from, I wanna say Kirkland's like a million years ago. And then these wooden signs came from Black Lion, that local store in Charlotte, that jack-o'-lantern came from at home. And I don't know if you saw him in the corner, but I have a hearse back there. He came from TJ Maxx Marshalls. And then of course, all of our Lee Max items came from Michaels. How cute are they? Yes, Caitlin absolutely loves them. And I know you can barely see it, but that's a feather wreath and that came from at home probably back when it was Garden Ridge. <laughs> it's only been at home for a couple years, so. But yeah, there's Caitlin's little Lemax uh, dog thing that she just absolutely loves. And then we've got our winery, which I love. And then over here is the cemetery. How cute is that? I love him. I love them all. October 31 sticker came from Target. I drew on it on a chalkboard. Thank you so much for going through my tour with me. I really appreciate you guys. I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much. Bye.